Okay, there is a little board I etched myself and it contains a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. There's also a microcontroller which is a AT Mega 328. And here is the uh, Wi Fi module. It's, uh, it's a ESP8266. Mm, the whole board is powered from a uh, lithium ion uh, battery. And mm, the temperature and humidity data is uh, read from the controller and sent to my uh, sent via my Wi-Fi um, to a Raspberry Pi board which is over there and on the Raspberry Pi there is a database server and a web server running mm. and so you can read out the data with any network device from the web So there is a code of the microcontroller. Um, I didn't use any. I didn't use any of the uh, libraries for the ESP8266 module or for the temperature sensor. Um, I just used the function pulse in from the Arduino environment. Um, to get the length of the uh, data pulses from the temperature sensor and then I calculated the I calculate the humidity and the temperature and this is just sent uh, via the, the serial port to the Wi-Fi module and you can open uh, in the in the web browser. You can open the um, output page, which is also running on the Raspberry Pi. There you can see the latest uh, data. There's also the mobile version, which is which is just some bigger text here. Uh, you can also enable the port forwarding in your router settings as I'm doing here and with this done and having a dynamic DNS account um, you can route to your local web server via the internet, so via everywhere. I like this. And there we go.